Welcome to my channel! Today I did my take on a classic look with a red lip. Pretty shimmery eye with some big old lashes and a red lip. This is a full face tutorial. Oh, and I tried some new brushes. And they are flipping amazing. We'll link you guys and give you the code in the description below, hopefully. I forget to do that kind of stuff much too often. I'm getting better, I think. Thank you guys so much for 16,000 subscribers. I love you. I'm going to prep my face with the Kat Von D Lock It Hydrating Base. Put that all over. And then I'm going to use my Ofra Absolute Cover Silk Peptide Foundation in O2. I love this foundation for full coverage, but still looks like skin, which is very important. Now I'm going to go in with Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in Warm L7 because it is my favorite. There's only one time of the month when I get breakouts. And just blending that all out with my Real Technique sponge. My favorite. And just using that as the base for my eyeshadow. Lazy Girl Makeup 101. I got new brushes to try! This case is so soft. Look at them! This brush set is called Palette and it's by Vanity Planet and it's vegan and cruelty free. And I'm gonna try it for the first time! Like right now. I'm really excited. I'm gonna use this little flat top guy to set my foundation with the Kat Von D translucent powder. Oh, it's so production. soft. It's soft like a baby. And I'm just gonna use my sponge and some powder for my under eyes. I'm going to contour again using my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour book this because you guys seemed super production. interested in it when I posted about it yesterday. The blushes are amazing. The highlight colors are incredible for super fair skin like me. I mostly use this shade for contouring. I find that this one is too gray for me and these ones are a bit too warm, but I love them anyways. I've used all of these as eyeshadows and they look beautiful. Using this angled brush from the Vanity Planet brushes, I'm going to pick up that contour shade. Do you guys see how that blended? So I'm being really aggressive. And they don't seem to be shedding. It's a good sign. I'm gonna use this little round eyeshadow brush from the set to contour my nose. It looks like it's gonna be a really good nose contouring brush. This is gonna take some, some work, blending that out. I went a little heavy, a little bit. Using another Vanity Planet brush, blend the shit out of this mess. This is my cardio. I'm going to use a little bit of translucent powder I'm just gonna bake that. I'm gonna do my eyebrows darker today, so I'm going to use the Pony Mainstain Number no. Five Thoroughbred. Switching up my brush, though, I'm gonna use the Vanity Planet one. It looks really nice. I 
little brush that came in that brush set. It was amazing. I'm gonna skip the cleanup. Look at it. Not gonna skip gel though. Much too important. Now I'm gonna start on some eye makeup using my Modern Renaissance palette because I'm obsessed with it. And I'm gonna keep using these Vanity Planet brushes, obviously. I'm gonna use Tempera all over the lid as a base. Let's zoom in. Let's get some zoom in action. I almost forgot. Then using this small brush again and warm taupe. I'm just gonna sketch out where I'm gonna place this my shadows. Is a beat production. Kind of a V shape. And then with that fluffier brush again, I'll just blend that out. Going back in with warm taupe in the crease. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. It's a lot easier to get a nice blend if you put down some shadow and then blend it and then put down some shadow and then blend it. You know, it's, it's a lot of work. That is not Lazy Girl Makeup 101. I should make that a video. Now with the little brush again and Cypress Umber. Just want to pop that right in the outer corner. And make that just a little bit darker in the crease. And I'm back in with Mr. Fluff. Just got a little bit more of that Cypress Umber. there was looking a little bit funny. I've got a little bit of Cypress Umber still left on my brush. It's gonna put it on my lower lid, just on the outer corner. I'm going to pick up some Primavera and put it on the lid. Also gonna put some in the inner corner and on the inner corner of the bottom lid. And now I'm gonna add some winged liner using my Pony Cosmetics Pegasus Liquid Liner, which has become my absolute favorite eyeliner. It's so easy to use. It's like really hard to cry this shit off. I tried. I'm just gonna put my wing right at the base of where we put this shadow. And then I'm going to go back in with this little, little eyeshadow brush and Cypress Umber. And I'm just gonna pat it on top of where we put our wing and blend that out a little bit. I just think it looks so pretty when the eyeshadow kind of goes with the wing. And you can't really do that until you have a wing to follow. I'm going to use my Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter for a super crazy brow highlight. I'm actually gonna add some more. Once I start with this highlighter, I can't stop. I'm gonna use my Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes because they're iconic. Duh. I forgot to put on mascara because I'm hungry. Just gonna have to put it on after. So while my lashes are drying, they look pretty funny right now with no mascara this on my blonde lashes. I'm gonna put on some blush from the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour book and this cute little brush from the Vanity Planet kit. 
I'm gonna use this sort of purpley one just because it's blue based and I'm going to be wearing a blue based red lip so I kind of want them to match you don't have to just putting it on the outer part of the apple of my cheek and then blending it into my contour I love this brush Now we're gonna add some glow with the Beverly Hills Ofra highlighter again and this little fan brush from the set. Why is that so fun? This is a, another brush from the set and I'm just gonna use it to highlight down the center of my nose. Okay, now let's do some lipstick. I'm going to use Wonderland Cream Lipstick by Urban Decay. It's from the Vice Collection, if I can open it. It's a really pretty blue-based red. Just applying it to most of my lips. And then the kit also came with a lip brush. So to do the outline of my lips, I'm going to use a lip brush and I'm just going to pick up some of the product. I usually like to blot and then reapply and then blot again. Um, it makes the lipstick a little bit more matte and helps it stay on longer. Now I'm just gonna put on some Roller Lash by Benefit. Blend my blonde lashes to the black lashes. And that's all. This makeup look is good for so many things. You could wear it every day, you could wear it to an event, a date, a photo shoot. It's just kind of a classic, good for everything look. A red lip and a neutral eye. How can you lose? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm wearing sweatpants. Please don't forget to like my video. It really hurts my feelings.